The Life and Sad Ending of Connie Selica. Connie Selica was born Concetta Selicinia on May 25, 1955, in New York City, U.S., to Italian parents, Primo and Anne Silencia. She grew up with her brother, Vincent Silencia, and her sister, Roseanne Mack. She was 12 when her family moved to Pomona, New York, where she attended the Pomona Junior High School. Selica later went to the Ramapo High School in Spring Valley, where she was introduced to the performing arts and eventually developed an interest. She dropped out of Boston College to pursue a career in acting. Selica began her acting career in the entertainment industry as a fashion model. She made her acting debut with the 1978 Japanese-American co-production TV fantasy film, The Bermuda Depths. It featured her as a beautiful but mysterious woman named Jennifer Jenny Hanover. That year, she began her 19-episode stint in the short-lived CBS comedy Flying High, based on the misadventures of three airline flight attendants. Selica and her co-stars, Catherine Witt and Pat Klaus, played three SunWest Airlines attendants named Lisa Benton, Pam Bellagio, and Marcy Bauer, respectively. She was next seen as Dr. Wendy Day alongside Lynn Berman, Lana Wood, Christopher Lee, and Reb Brown in the title role in the CBS movie Captain America 2, Death Too Soon. Selica played Alex Goldman in the 1979 slasher TV film She's Dressed to Kill. The following year, she appeared as Pamela Williams in four episodes of the TV adaptation of the 1973 film Westworld, titled Beyond Westworld. From 1981 to 1983, she played Pam Davidson, the lawyer girlfriend of the main character, Ralph Hinckley, Ralph Hanley, in the ABC superhero comedy drama, The Greatest American Hero. As soon as The Greatest American Hero ended, Selica was released from her contract. She then signed the ABC primetime soap drama, Hotel. She was cast to play Christine Francis, one of the leads and love interest of Peter McDermott. Christine and Peter were the assistant general manager and the general manager of the fictional St. Gregory Hotel in this adaptation of Arthur Haley's 1965 novel of the same name. She played the character from 1983 to 1988. Her performance in the series got her nominated for a Golden Globe Award in 1987. In 1984, she appeared as Sarah Hawthorne Nevins in an episode of the ABC drama Finder of Lost Loves. Selica appeared as Dana Fredericks in the 1985 TV movie, International Airport. The movie also featured Jill Gerard as David Montgomery. She played Gloria Franklin in her next release, the 1987 ABC romantic comedy, The Last Fling. She played Erica Bernstein in the 1989 NBC miniseries, Brotherhood of the Rose, adapted from David Morrell's novel of the same name. Selica portrayed First Officer Madeline Mimi Tompkins in the 1990 CBS drama film Miracle Landing, based on the in-flight incident aboard Aloha Airlines Flight 243 that took place in April 1988. Meanwhile, she appeared in several TV movies such as Down Payment on Murder and Turn Back the Clock, People Like Us, Mulberry Street, A House of Secrets and Lies, Passport to Murder, and she led two lives. From 1991 to 1992, she appeared in the CBS crime drama series, P.S. I Love You, co-starring Greg Evigan. The series featured her as a con woman named Wanda Talbert. She next starred as Diane Benedict in six episodes of the CBS drama, Second Chances. She co-starred with Gregory Harrison in the 1995 ABC thriller film, A Dangerous Affair. It featured her as Sharon Blake, a successful career woman dating a real estate agent named Robert Kenzer. She played an extremely mysterious and gray character, Joan Quinn, Catherine Pizer, in the 1995 ABC film The Surrogate. Selica starred as Carolyn Giblin opposite Randy Travis in the CBS movie A Holiday to Remember. The 1997 The Family Channel movie Doomsday Rock featured her as Catherine. She played Stephanie Carver in her next TV movie, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, the PAX network movie based on the classic Hollywood song of the same name. From 2013 to 2015, she and her husband, John Tesh, hosted Intelligence for Your Life, 
a radio show that was later syndicated as a TV program. In her personal life, Selica was initially married to her co-star, Jill Gerard. They got married on October 28, 1979, but divorced in 1987. They have a son named Jim. On April 4, 1992, she married pianist and TV host John Tesh after dating him for two years. Their daughter, Prima, was named after Selica's father, Primo Salaccia. Selica and Tesh had first met at a hotel gym in Palm Springs and had begun dating soon after. He proposed to her in 1991 at a restaurant in Monterey, which he had booked for the day. He had sung a self-composed song titled Concepta, which was accompanied by a string quartet. He had also arranged for a fireworks display on that day. Both Selica and Tesh are born-again Christians. Selica is a spokesperson for MAD's Project Red Ribbon campaign against drunk driving. Along with Tess, she runs the Selica Tesh Foundation for the Forgotten Generation. Probably right now is her worst time when her health is slowly deteriorating. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Connie Selica. Like and comment your opinion in the comments section below.